Hello there, and welcome back to the Hermit Pack with me, Trionus. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're good. I'm doing fairly well. It's the end of the week, so weekend, yay! And uh, on Monday, it's almost Halloween, though I don't really celebrate it, but still, it's still a little bit of a holiday sort of thing. Anyway, uh, let's get on to today's episode. One big difference you may notice, no chests. Absolutely no chest whatsoever out here. Uh, and inside you will see the same lack of chest apart from that one and that one which are connected to my smeltery for some auto smelting things. But other than that, the only other chest here is a bit of a tool, some book uh, chest here because everything is now in my refi uh, refined storage. Uh, I did manage to make a single 64k storage and with that as you can see I've got plenty of room now to uh, I put everything in so uh, yeah everything is in there that I currently need uh, so yeah really cool so uh, hopefully everything should go a little bit smoother now uh, but we're gonna move away from technology slightly uh, we may need to use it for crafting purposes but uh, I want to look at a mod which I have never used before. Uh, only come across it with the different things that are in this pack, uh, such as these leggings, this cyclic mod. You may have actually noticed it. Uh, the main things I want to look at are these charms. Uh, this one is a void charm, a void falling protection while carrying. Uh, my only concern with that is if you fall into the void, how the hell are you supposed to get out? Because if you're not going to take any damage, then you're just going to constantly keep falling. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a wing charm, which is a magic parachute. Now, I'm not too bad because I've got these slime boots, though if I want to have better protection on my feet, this may come in handy. Though I do need a rabbit's foot, which uh, might be a bit dodgy to get. Uh, as you can see, you need to kill some rabbits. Um, automated torch. Uh, I haven't seen that one before. That torches the darkness while in your inventory. Interesting. I might take a look at that one. Uh, there's also other things like these heart containers, uh, which I can't really craft at the moment because really I don't have eggs and milk. Uh, but if you eat them, you get an extra heart in your hot bar there's also this uh, inventory crafting table which again if you eat this you gain a proper crafting table in your inventory slot there which is kind of cool uh, cyclic scepter shift from into use a mass wheel to sneak I have no idea what that is <laughs> uh, but yeah the two charms I really want to look at at the moment is the fire charm fire protection while carrying uh, which is going to be decent and this one the antidote charm auto cure poison and wither so they're the two I really want to look at the only problem is I don't have nether warts uh, so we're going to see if we can do this the automatic Atomic Reconstructor, mushrooms, red mushrooms to nether wart. So I think I've got some red mushrooms. I'm hoping I have. Uh, if not, we'll have to go and find some. Uh, no, it doesn't look like I've got any. So, um, don't think you can craft red mushrooms. Uh, but let me just have a quick double check. Um, well, you can with an industrial centrifuge, but that's no good to us at the moment. So, let's have a go outside, and then the journey map might actually help a bit more. There was a swamp not too far away, so we can quite easily. Yeah, uh, oh dear, the diamond chisel's lost its uh, thing. There has been an update to the pack, but it it appears that it's caused a couple of problems as well not to worry they'll fix it eventually we've got some giant red mushrooms but uh, they don't really help us um, oh, do you get 
go away these. Um, do you actually get red mushrooms from destroying those things? Let's have a look. I uh, know this is probably a vanilla thing. I don't do vanilla. Well, I do, but... Uh... Oh, come on, get up. Nope, not going to let me get up from you. Fine. There we are. Right, let's have a look. Let's see what we can get. Anything? Oh, we do get the mushrooms. Cool. Arrow domain. Awesome. Six, seven. Perfect. Excellent. So we can head home now. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need the dirt. Right. And home we are. So let's try this out. Let's just put the egg and whatnot in there. So uh, let's put some of these red mushrooms down and hit them with a laser. Uh, nope, that didn't work. I've had problems with this before. My sound seems very low. Alright. Right, um, so let's grab some, some sand or something. Because the sand will come in handy anyway, because I need, uh, other things so let's just do do that because I needed the uh, ah that works haha <laughs> plant it on there there we go that'll do me oh it does one anyway uh, did I do another one it did but one is it seems to do this side hmm never mind Never mind, there's three. That'll do me. Thank you. We just need to plant these guys, but we're not going to plant them here because we need uh, more than just this. So, what I'm going to do, because this should work, let's just put them right next to the Torturino. And there we go. That'll do. Thank you. And we'll get as much as we need. Cool. That'll do me. Thank you. I like that torch. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do first is the fire charm. So, there's that. Then the antidote charm. So, we need a fermented spider eye with strips of brown mushroom. Uh Let's have a look what we may have got. We have not got brown mushrooms or sugar. Um, yeah, typical. Now need brown mushrooms. Uh, have I not? Hmm. Right, okay. Let me just get one of these mushrooms. And then hopefully we've got fire protection anyway. Uh, I suppose there's one way to test. Uh, let me just get a, a chest from here. Any other will do, thank you. Uh, I'm just going to put this look all lot in here because if it doesn't work, then I don't particularly want to lose any items because if I have got fire protection then lava should not really okay my health just went straight back up fire resistance there we go it took a took a second to kick in but uh, yeah I've got fire resistance very cool uh, I don't think I can actually survive in lo Oh, actually, yes. It does take, just take a second to kick in, but yeah. We've got fire protection. And that's cool. I'm happy enough with that. Right, let me get my stuff back, and then I will get some brown mushrooms. Uh, so, uh, yeah.
Right, brown mushrooms uh, got, so we should be good. I'm just gonna put a sugar cane in here to get all the to get the sugar. There we go. Right, so um, what were we making the uh, charm? Let's have a quick look. Water charm might be a good one to look at as well. Um, I can't see it now. Green blind. Void. Wing. Uh, sailor. Didn't see that one before. Uh, antidote for it. So we need a spider's eye and a. Not that one. Oh, it's starting to. Where? You know, antidote. There it is. Right, so there we go, Flamentus Spider Eye, and then Antidote Charm. Cool, can I put this one there? There we go, so that should relieve us of poison and wither. Uh, speed Charm, should we try and make this Speed Charm? Why not? There we go, we've got Speed 2. Oh, they have durability. I didn't realize it got durability on them, but that's fine. He should be good. Um, don't particularly feel any faster considering. Mm, I don't think that one works quite right. Hmm. Never mind. Um, what else we do? Water charm. Uh, I don't think we've got fish. Nope. I don't think we've got any fish. Especially not a salmon. Watch this one. Sailor charm. Boats. We don't really need that. Okay, the other item that I want to look into uh, in this is called a reusable pearl. Uh, which would be oh, an Endon Dungeon Finder. Okay. That's interesting. Um, ender orb. There we are. The ender orb. Reusable ender pearl. So, um, let's have a look. See if we can actually make this thing. Uh, we can't. Let's. Can we put this in a crusher? Nope. Uh, oh yes, I did actually make a, a slag mill because I needed silicon and I uh, got fed up of using all my quartz. Uh, let's put you in there and we get four and some sulfur. Well the four is what we need. Um, that's the dungeon finder, there we go. Uh, let's have a, have a look. I don't know how many enderpearls I've got though, that's the problem. Uh, I have two, maybe that's three. Uh, and I need four. So, okay, we can't make that just yet, but we will get around to doing it. What are these blocks up here? Uh, structure builder. Harvester. A harvester. Automated gentle harvesting. Why not? We'll make one of these. Why not? Uh, dispenser. And a harvester. I don't know what it does. I ain't got a clue, so let's put... However, there's no interface. I can say I have not used this mod whatsoever. Uh, so I don't know if it requires any sort of power or anything. No, doesn't accept RF. Though the emerald and the obsidian mixed in together, that's a nice mixture. Um, okay, 
what happens if we face it away from there? Does anything happen? No. Okay. Maybe it doesn't do nether wart. Do you do anything there? No. Does it need to be under? Can we plant things on it? Nope. <laughs> Didn't think so. Uh, no, I don't know how to use this one. Uh, so, give me a second and see if I can find out. Right, okay. Uh, so, apparently, if I'm reading this right, then it just needs a a uh, redstone signal so let's make a, a lever lever and uh, don't we have any sticks that's no good that's no good whatsoever uh, let's make a dozen or so sticks there we go So let's try this again. They also say it does a 16 by 16 area. So let's try this. So it, I believe it needs to be facing the crops like I had it before. So let's do that. And that's not how you place a lever. Uh, let's. Oh, we've got smoke. and it does appear to be harvesting though it doesn't actually pick up items okay okay so it doesn't pick up it just replants that's good that is good hey dude i'm busy being a farmer Leave me alone. Right, a little bit slow, but it does the entire field. So, yeah, this could come in handy because all you would need is a uh, a, va a vacuum from Ender IO, uh, and then we should be good. Okay, let's try this uh, let's see iron is just this do we have a pulsing I don't think we do so we need one of those pills unfortunately um, all right so that's that uh, then we need some iron there we go iron and let's get these going uh, why didn't you take we find why did you do that alloys only please there we go a little bit of iron right so let me just move this double lead back in here I need to make another one of these for this guy but we should be fine Setting iron, thank you. You went to there, you went to there, and one a vacuum chest. And I don't think the vacuum chest needs power, you can just put it there, and there we go. That's fine. I may need one or two to actually get all of this, but it depends on how big it would work. Uh, oh, what? it's even doing these over here. That's very cool. Like I say, I may need more than just the one vacuum chest, but that is how you would harvest things. 
so one or two of these automatically powered so a little bit better than the farmer from Andrew Io. that's cool sorry I know I'm going off on a little bit of a weird thing at the moment um, structure builder harvester item magnet pulls items and experience every hundred ticks that sounds cool that sounds very cool what else have we got here block miner block miner advanced controlled miner 9 by 9 auto mining with blacklist and short tools a placer and a yeah okay yeah there's one or two decent machines here I just need to sort out a way of collecting everything like vacuum chests anyway uh, sorry it's just giving me a few ideas uh, thank you very much for joining me I hope that you enjoyed today's episode if you did please remember to hit that like button and if you've got any hints tips or suggestions or if you just want to say hi feel free to put that in the comment section below uh, but regardless thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you in the next episode bye